Good evening. Just a week ago today, Coverack in Cornwall was hit by flash flooding. As more than 50 homes were deluged with water, one couple had to be airlifted to safety. But after just seven days, the Cornish village on the Lizard Peninsula is once again open for business. Its main road was torn apart by the flooding. Today it's been completely they repaired. They up to get us out. So in the end they took us out the front window. And they took me first, because I'd lost my shoe. I had shoes in the, the flood down at the kitchen. I got an old pair of shoes that was upstairs and, and I had them on. And when I was lift, air lifted up, you had to put your hands through this thing and hold on like that. And um, I dropped one of my shoes fell off and Chris caught it. He, and then he brought it, they dumped me up in the field, sort of sat on my bottom and, and they went back for Chris and, and then he landed on his feet and then the fireman took me to some rocks over there um, at the end of the road and sat me down and then the paramedic came and took our pulses to see if we were you know, it's still all right. Some people having to be rescued then, from the roofs yeah. of their homes by helicopter. John Kay reports from Coverack. Look at the mess. All this mud everywhere. Back home. But it's not the home they know and love. Chris and Penny's place has been trashed. The water was higher than their heads. They escaped upstairs. And here they are last night as the water raged below the couple airlifted to safety by the coast guard I didn't really and i could have got that and of course they chucked it all it was, and i think it would probably would have been high enough in there because it was only 18 inches and i had you know silver thimble and my grannies and you know my mother's sewing things and my aunt's sewing things i had all family things there and they no, it's my own fault because I just didn't think because you're sort of traumatised, you're just shocked. They told me it was heartbreaking to look down from the helicopter at their flooded property. It's just like the Titanic sinking, you know, it was really, really upsetting. That made me upset and he was crying and upset, wasn't he? He worked so hard and made it so nice and then we get mud in everywhere and it's... So you just give up, don't you? No, you don't give up. Yeah.